let's have a heart-to-heart -heart about something we all face in this bustling world of ours, the challenge of managing our possessions. You know, those knickknacks and gizmos that seem to multiply when we're not looking. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing inherently wrong with having a few doodads and widgets around. They can bring a spark of joy or serve as mementos of special times. But here's the thing. It's crucial to remember that at the end of the day, they're just things. The real question we need to ask ourselves is, what's the true cost of owning all this stuff? It's not just about the price tag, mind you. We're talking about the space they take up in our homes and, more importantly, in our minds. There's the time spent cleaning and maintaining them, the stress of keeping track of everything, and let's not forget the environmental impact of producing and eventually discarding these items. So, what's a thoughtful person to do? Well, I suggest we take a step back and reflect on what's truly essential in our lives. Let's consider the basics. 1. A safe, cozy place to call home. 2. Clean water to drink and bathe in. 3. Nutritious food to keep us healthy and strong. 4. Comfortable clothes to protect us from the elements. 5. Reliable transportation to get us where we need to go. 6. And perhaps most importantly, the intangible essentials, friendship and love. These are the building blocks of a fulfilling life, wouldn't you agree? Now, I'm not saying we should all become minimalists overnight. Far from it. Life is meant to be enjoyed. And if that cute little figurine or that shiny new gadget brings you genuine happiness, by all means, welcome it into your life. The key is to be mindful about it. Before bringing something new into your home, ask yourself, will this truly enrich my life? Is it worth the space it will occupy, both physically and mentally? Can I responsibly care for and eventually dispose of this item? By keeping these questions in mind, we can create a more balanced relationship with our possessions. We can appreciate the doodads and widgets for what they are, little extras that add flavor to life, while never losing sight of what truly matters. Remember, my friends, at the end of the day, it's not about how much we own, but how much we cherish and use what we have. Let's focus on cultivating rich experiences, nurturing relationships, and creating a life filled with meaning rather than just stuff. So, the next time you're tempted by that shiny new thing in the store window, take a moment to reflect. Is it something you truly need or value? Or is it just another doodad destined to gather dust? The choice, as always, is yours. But I have faith that you'll make the right one for you and for our shared world. Now, who's up for a nice cup of coffee and a chat about the simple joys of life?